The family of Rebecca Zahau, who was found dead at the Spreckles Mansion in Coronado, announced today that they filed a lawsuit seeking additional evidence in the case. Officially, Rebecca Zahau died at her own hand. Investigators who first looked around the Coronado Mansion where she reportedly was found hanging, naked, gagged, and bound hand and foot, suspected they had a homicide on their hands. But after a seven-week investigation, Sheriff Bill Gore held a news conference to announce that evidence and autopsy results led to the conclusion that Zahau's death on July 13th, 2011, was a suicide. I do feel and have, from the beginning, felt very sorry for the family of Rebecca Zahau. I understand the mourning process, uh, and they're searching for answers. Obviously, they're unwilling to accept the results of our investigation. They're still searching for, for something that leads them to, to a conclusion other than suicide. Zahau's mother and sister have refused to believe that the 32-year-old surgical technician with a strong Christian faith killed herself. I think sometimes, you know, the, the San Diego Sheriff's Department, they, they did this very quickly, and perhaps they needed to do a, a bit more of an in-depth investigation regarding, you know, other possibilities. And so I think it falls back on law enforcement, really, to do what they need to do, what we all pay for them to do with our taxes, and investigate. Now a trial will start in San Diego Superior Court in the family's wrongful death lawsuit. Their suspicions have fallen on the only other person known to be home at the time, Adam Shacknai, brother of Zahau's boyfriend, Arizona pharmaceutical tycoon, Jonah Shacknai. Why do you suppose that the father of the child, the boyfriend of the woman who hangs herself at his home, why do you think that he has just kept himself completely out of all of this? I don't know. I don't know, and if Max were here, I wouldn't know how to explain it to him. I don't know. Now, the Union Tribune will follow the civil case as it unfolds in our next podcast, Under the Gavel, The Rebecca Zahau Case. I do believe that Rebecca and Max deserve answers. Deserve answers. And as you go through the evidence, the least plausible scenario is that Rebecca was up there in, in that room and went over that balcony. I will leave no stone unturned to find out what happened to my son. Coming to iTunes and wherever else you get your podcasts.